Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to some Valheim action. This is a modded series. Let's take a look at my little temporary house here. So it's just a couple of days in. I've been kind of re-familiarizing myself with the world. And also, thanks, many thanks to Legacy for setting up this 105 plugins is what I have. I don't even know what they all are. 105, but and BP for fine tuning, twisting, helping, instructing. So, legacy and BP, huge, huge helps. This is a work in progress, you guys. I loaded it up, what we got, and I'm going to start playing. And if I need to make tweaks along the way, I will. Um, but that's where we're at. I needed to get going on this thing. A lot of uh, little hurdles. I could. It was hard for me to even start my recorder to record this stuff. There's so many, so many keys that are being used, and for some reason it wouldn't hook hook the video. But I just picked one of those, you know, shelters that we found. Made that. I spawned in right down here. Killed, you know, some necks, some deer, a lot of boars, some graylings, all kinds of stuff like that. I was able to. I don't know, I guess this is... It's just regular clothes. This isn't like something fancy. It just looks different than leather, what I'm wearing. And you can opt to put on a backpack versus a uh, cape. So I did that. I just thought it looked kind of cool. So I spawned right here. Um, I need to move, move about the world because I need to find a place to make my base. You know, I need to find a nice base location, so... Hey -ya! Hey -ya! It's gonna take me some getting used to a... Oh my gosh, my bow skills. What the? That's why I make like 80 arrows. Look at that arc. Your bows have improved. Well, <laughs> that says a lot. Last time I played, you know, obviously I ended up with really high level stuff and thistle arrows, stuff like that. So anyway, we're back in Valheim. It's been over two years since I've played this. I wanted to come back to it and I definitely wanted to do a modded series. I hope that it's coming out as beautiful as it looks. It's got, it's got everything, HD graphics. Like I said, there's 105 different plugins on here according to the screen when I logged in, but may need some tweaking along the way. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the series. I'm going to be running this series and the Long Dark series right now. I still have some stuff to do in Icarus, so that's not that's not over yet. But uh, for now, I wanted to jumpstart into so, a couple of new, not new games, but, you know, new playthroughs. Hiya! What the neck? My bow skills need to improve a lot. Look at that lightning infused neck. Have you ever seen a lightning infused? No! Neener, 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 neener. No, 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 no lightning infused necks, please. Oh, he's on me. Oh, fire! Fire! Burp, burp, burp. All right, fine. You want to play? You want to play hardball? You can play hardball. Captain Lightning infused red ruby gem. So that's cool. I think. Look, so Legacy has tweaked, tweaked the game for me to make it interesting, he said. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to go with challenging yet fun, right? So you can expect, look, I haven't played in two years, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to pick up on what's default game and what's not which is actually kind of cool for me. I like that. I like that idea. This is too, oh, this is only a tier two. That must be like iron or copper. So I've got a, let's see. So you can see in here, it's a little bit different. It's got an expanded inventory, but I still am limited by the, the weight capacity right now. And then it's got a separate area here for your armors. I believe the armors normally take up inventory space. So we've got that. There's like, like you said, there's there's stuff on here. I don't know what it is. And 
been working. Those guys have been working on this. I've, you know, I'm a busy dude. So they've been trying to get me to hook up and talk to them. And I need to do that for sure. But it's just like a huge thanks. You guys don't know how long it takes to assemble something like this. And for them, for Legacy to put that all together and for BP to come in and really, really polish things up. Like the way it looks and everything, it's just awesome. Thank you guys. I don't know specifically what everyone did, but I just want to give thanks where thanks is due. So I do have a flint axe. We have a... Where'd my... What? No, I made a antler. What? Where'd my antler thing go? Oh my gosh, I lost my antler pick. Do I have antlers? Oh, so I had a crash. My fault. I had a crash. And... Yeah, so you can see this food here. This was from my other character. So I'm... I'm not using this food. I actually tried to throw it away. And let's see, maybe I could just, I'll just make a, a chest on the backside here. I try to get rid of it because I don't, I'm not trying to like bring in stuff that's like OP. And those are some, these are higher level foods, higher level foods. The other thing is the chest is overlaid here and they were telling me how I can move this over. I want to put it right here. But for now, like I said, I needed to get into playing. So I'm not using these foods because those are OP. Oh, I didn't even finish cooking my stuff. All right, I had I had a hard antler and I made a pick, but apparently when I crashed, there was not a save. I actually crashed out like the mod thing. It was my fault. I was trying to get it to record and I accidentally, I closed the window that was running the mods. So I need to get... Um, I need to get, well, I, it doesn't even show that I have antler. Anyway, all right, let's cook some stuff. Necktail burns in 48 seconds. What? That's new, I didn't see that. Oh, it's actually telling me the time. Look at the time difference of when it cooks versus burns. You don't have a lot of time there if you don't pay attention to it. I didn't see that before. That's a really neat addition. Like these are, a lo what I have a lot of here is what's described as uh, quality of life mods, right? So quality of life mods, this would be considered quality of life. Helping you do, I don't know, little things like that. It should be really fun. I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I really loved when, I, when Valheim came out and I played through it, right? So I had this nostalgic feel for it. And when I loaded this back up, I, I loaded in, my mods weren't working. This was the other day. I had screwed something up and my mods weren't working. And I'm looking at the game going, this doesn't look like BP's game. Like his, his pictures that he sends me are just like, like, you know, Skyrim type ENB, uh, you know, graphic overlay. Oh, just, it looks so good. So anyway, like this isn't what I remember. And. Honestly, I didn't even remember that it was only third person. So you can zoom into about here, but that's not really helpful. Actually, in this game, with all the fighting, like you kind of want to be a little bit farther away from your character when you're fighting. Because you can see like if someone's flanking you or something. So we got to find, we got to get some antlers again. That sucks. I had found some. Let's try out our, uh... oh. Let's try out our luck on a boar. hi -ya! Now, I think you can actually do two-handed here. Let's see. I think there was a... I, I think I accidentally hit a button and it went two-handed, which is cool. Ooh, some birch. Level two required. Am I not using my... Uh, the flint axes? Oh, it's only level one, tier one. Give me the tier two stuff, man. I love chopping stuff. So the one good thing about it is, like the grind, we'll be able to, behind the scenes, doing kind of stuff like this. I want the grind as much, which is good. But I'm really looking forward to it. Miss lands, all that fun stuff. Oh yeah, look at it. You rare back. 
I will get you. This thing's kind of cool looking. So if you, let's see if we can take a look here. It's very interesting. I remember um, my, when I originally played my home island was almost all meadows. It was like, oh it, no, what meadows in Black Forest, right? Pretty safe. Right over there, let's see. You look at this. Here I am here. I've got mountain, mountain, and mountain. You can see black forest back here, over here, and over here. I believe that would be black forest like that. So it's pretty cool. One of the other things I, I did was obviously open up the map so I could see you know, give me an idea of where I'm going. It's just, it just shows you the islands, the island layouts. So you can see the deserts and swamps, different things like that. So that, that should help out a little bit instead of running around like an idiot, you know, just unlocking stuff. I think it looks really good. I, I want to see how it looks on YouTube. It looks a little sharp. Like, um, when you have a lot of foliage, it looks a little sharp, but that's okay. Oh, I threw all this stuff down, so that's not that's junk stuff. I need to collect things. I need I'm mean, this is like basically day one. I've been doing let's see, what do I have here? I have some neck and some of this. How come these don't stack together? Huh. Where's the bull meat? So, in the last one I did, I built a really nice house. I mean, for me, it was really nice, you know? And I like building the building the places, because there's a lot of, uh, of like, benches and forges and, and, you know, stuff like that that you need to put inside your house, or a lot of that stuff needs to have a roof over it. Some stuff goes outside. I think maybe the forge goes outside something, but there's a lot of things like that right so you want a big you want a big house but you also want it to look awesome and i need to find i don't want to start building in a place where i'm not sure if that's where that best home base is so this thing here is where we put the um isn't it don't we put the the bosses on that when we finish i'm not sure let me just go take a look at it if it has the outlines and then we kill the kill the bosses of each area and put it on there and it gives us a different power we can choose from. I believe. I believe so. On the edge, when I went over this way, it said black forest, so there's a black forest over there. I'd like to get some better better weapons. My little little dude here. A little, little fella. Where are you going? I love it when they explode like that. Humite gemstone. All right, so we see we've got this. So yeah, we've got from here we've got that, that. So one, two, three, four, five, six things we got to do. Oh, look at that! What? That's really close to my house. What the deuce? That's really close to my house. That's, <laughs> that's not even cool, man. That is super close to my house. So I did, there was some button I hit that I ended up going like uh, two-handed. Like I, I had a... I think I had an axe in one hand and a pick in the other. And I was hitting the, um... hey, get off there. Get off there, son. Oh, I forgot about they, look at that. It le they lean into their trees, but they actually take damage when they fall. So it's not a bad thing if it's leaning into another tree because they'll all fall and take extra damage on themselves. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. That one didn't take any extra damage. I gotta get my skills up. Everything is really low right now. Are you mad that I'm chopping trees, Captain Grayling? I think he is. I think he's like, look, we 
We are the tree people. I remember early on always using my axe. Onyx gemstone. Always using my axe to, uh, because I was cutting wood and the graylings will come out and you end up using your axe and it ranked up pretty good. Then when I finally went to the sword, my sword was like really low in comparison. All right, looking good. It's just the first couple of days while I was in here trying to do stuff, uh, trying to figure things out. Um, the days pass really fast. Come back here, you st stupid log. Oh my God. All right, where the heck am I? I don't even know where I am from my house. Gotta get home, we gotta get home. Oh, there we go. That's that's two-handed, right? So I've got the, uh, the ax in one hand and that actually is really good. I mean, having like two axes or an ax in your pick in your hand or they look cool, but, or maybe two swords, but this right here, Look, you could work at night. Still be able to kind of see. That fire looks really good. I did come in here uh, long enough without a, a texture pack to think that, wow, I didn't remember that the um, <laughs> this actually looked like this. I, I thought the quality was higher by default, you know? Time to sleep. Time to sleep. So what do you guys think? 22! What is that, dude? Somebody put that in there. Oh, see? I got my peoples. My, I, It's really good to have peoples. If you guys don't have peoples, you should get some. It is really good. So I've got neck, that, and I need to eat this guy. We'll cook this one boar meat right now while we're waiting for it to get a little bit lighter. I really actually like that... Um, cook time versus burn time that it's I don't know I guess it's funny for me it's little things in mods that are very useful right looks it's hard for a game creator to think of everything and it's just good enough for them to make a really good game that's where if they open it up to the to a modding community that's awesome right so here's my chest right here like I said, I need to, there's tools to allow me to move it over and put it like probably down here in the middle. Probably put it down in the middle, but for now, let's see, I put my stone in there and my wood in there. Got meat. See, I don't understand why these two meats don't stack. Are they different? They're not different. Some of the meats aren't stacking like these two. It's kind of funny, huh? Funny in a goofy way. And look how dark it is first thing in the morning. Dang, dude. It's scary out here. Now it showed that, that thing right back here, didn't it? Right here. Now isn't that, is that like the first boss? I don't even, it's gonna take me a minute to kind of remember. I say we go check it out, see what it is. I might be running for my life. I think that was another thing. There was a mod for throwing stuff away because if you do that, it stays there for a long time. Maybe until you leave the game, I don't even remember. But there, I know there was some mods where you could uh, junk stuff. Maybe there's a some kind of bench or something where I can use to, to junk things. Still gotta get my antler pick so I can go into the black forest. I think it's what tin and copper in the black forest which is my first my first forest. All right, it's it's this way. I didn't even see this place. Got anything in there? No. Your house isn't as cool as mine. Broken bed. I could have slept there, but this is in deeper than I was willing to go. Some extra colorful plants along the way. This is probably a really bad idea what I'm doing right now. I'm going this way. Oh, somehow I... Ugh. 
I was gonna say that grayling's a little bigger than normal. He's a little bigger than normal. He had a little star on him. All right, somehow I got turned around. It's over here somewhere. Oh, I saw that house. That's what it was. I got all excited. Oh, here it is over here. I, I think I do that in a lot of games. This game here. Looking up at the map, seeing that I'm turning, I'm not turning, I'm turning too far, I'm not turning far enough. Now, is this the deer? Is the first one the deer? Am I going to get killed on day one by the deer? Hunt his kin. Where's your kin? This is to hunt his kin. Mystical altar. Can we put something there? I will hunt your kin down, boy. I remember like knowing a lot of the, well, the lore to the game. I guess it's just like it was a new game. Super interested in it. Now I'm trying to remember everything. You guys are going to have to definitely bear with me for a bit. Moving around. I wanted to get an episode recorded. I want to see how it looks like on YouTube. You know, so if I need to do any... Well, not me. If I need to have, like, VP or Legacy do any tweak... What was that that just fell up there? Do any tweaks to the game? You know, make it look right the way we want. Oh, sh... What the... F Legacy? What did you do? That That's double bear spawn. Is that triple bear? What the actual deuce, dude? He just spawned in two bears on me. Oh my god. Did you see those bears fall out of the sky? I think these are the game tweaks we were talking about. Oh no. I think I'm heading into the black forest. Those two graylings are different. This is the black forest right here. Oh jeez. Trying to avoid those dang bears, dude. I mean, when I'm ready, but I'm not ready. I ain't ready. Get me out of here. Get me out in the open. Nothing ever bad happens out in the open. Wow. That is cool. See, so that's going to be some of the unexpected stuff that I can expect, apparently. Look at the low-lying fog right there in that little low area. I can't believe two bears. Oh. Why is that guy glowing purple? Why is that guy glowing purple? He looks rude. Spirit infused. He Beat it. You stupid boar. He had spirit, all right. He's been infused by my axe. This land is hard and wild. Yeah, tell me about it with bears falling out of the dang sky. Those, those bears are not far from... Oh, there's a deer right there. All right. Oh, he ducked his head. What the heck happened there? Two more spawned when I hit him. What's with the multi-deer spawning? Why is my arrow so bad? Dude, every time I hit him, they sp it spawns another deer. Do you see that? That is crazy. It's like magic spawn. 
Oh, that's a headshot. Oh, he moved. He's like, well, it's going to take him an hour and a half to draw his bow back, so I might as well just move. You going to give me some antlers? I know I had some antlers in here. You. You. You better run. I don't think we got anything. It would have told us. What do we get? We got some more scraps. Got a couple of those heads, which we don't want. Some more leather. Or deer hide and leather scraps. And then raw pork. So right now I can't actually cook this stuff. It can't cook it on the fire. It must take one of the other um, cookers to make that. Dude, those, those bears have got me concerned. I got it. Look at this place. Oh, beehive in there. Oh, beehive. Get me some honey. Those bears are not going to be far from my house. So those bears spawn like right in here. I believe right over there. Two gigantic bears. Bear. Neener, neener, neener. Now, the other thing is I might be this game here. I might be streaming it. I'm not sure as well because there's a lot to do in this right and it's really fun my concern is i got to get it straight with the capture i don't know what's going on with the the video captcha but i have to find a place to call home so i can actually put up some walls start making you know getting the stone stuff going just not a hundred percent sure if this isn't a bad place like generally you know go out and Get out into the ocean, go to the other islands. It's in its own bay here. I mean, I guess traditionally I like to be out here so it's easier access to get off your island. The problem with out here is this mountain to here is very narrow. I ran the coastline and it's very narrow. Like, say where those trees are right there would be the mountain and I would be right here on the shore. So I would be possibly getting enemies from the mountain biome all the time which what is that it goes meadows black uh, black forest um swamp right meadows black forest swamp then mountains then plains like mountains is up there that's no joke so i'm not sh i don't think i want to i want to build out there you know what i'm saying all right, you guys, I'm going to start this series off with a shorter one. This is going to be this is going to be it for this one. This will be episode number one, getting re-familiarized with this. Again, it's kind of a work in progress, all the mods going on. But I need a better bow. I need a bigger boat. I need to get some better stuff. We're going to be heading into the Black Forest and starting to get better things right away. But let me know what you guys think. You guys excited for the series? There's going to be some surprises. Like, bears don't normally fall out of the sky while you're just cruising around looking at things so there's going to be a lot of that i think it should be really really fun anyway you guys hit the old like button comment down below let me know what you think and i'll see you guys next episode